Hi, you guys. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. Uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising uh, for the weeks of um, May 1st through the 15th, 15th 2017. Uh, I have already shuffled and cut the cards, so let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, also, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I ask that you please continue to do so. Um, remember, these are general readings. Um, and so for private readings, you would email me, namat76 at gmail.com. But hopefully, um, the readings resonate with you guys. Okay. All right, so the heart of the situation, uh, we have the sun. And we have the ace of cups and six of wands. We have two of wands, death, four of pinnacles, fool, four of cups. Okay, so I'm feeling like many Libras are experiencing unconditional love for self. Um, I feel that there has been a boost of confidence. Um, I feel the truth is coming out. I feel like many of you are being... Um, free and open there has been some sort of release from either a relationship or um, some sort of burden but I feel like there has been um, you've been li liberated from something and you're feeling very optimistic and comfortable and being in your skin and ready to move forward um, this is feeling proud, um, joyful. Um, and I feel too that there is some sort of opportunity of love. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of attention too, like you guys are receiving a lot of attention. Um, maybe being popular. This week, this week starts off with you receiving like a lot of attention, um, maybe having a lot of offers, people offering to take you out or expressing how they really feel. I feel like a, a, the truth will be coming out um, if it isn't happening um, now this in, in the now. This should be something that happens really soon. Uh, but I, I feel like all this offering and popularity and attention, uh, like you're soaking it up and it's just giving you a lot of confidence to move forward. Uh, I feel like uh, if you have your own business uh, or if you're, I just feel like you're shining, uh, like you're gaining a lot of popularity. Um either at work or with your own business, there's um, a burst of, of energy, of uh, revitalization, renewal. Um, if you're getting over a breakup, you're finally set free from it, from you're over it, you're, you're moving on. This is you just being glad and just relieved. This sense, I just wanna breathe like that, like, Finally, you know, just like I can move forward now. Now it's time for me to move on. Um, if you're in a relationship, I feel like you're being showered with love, showered with attention. Um, someone is feeding your ego uh, with love. And that's what we like as Libras. You know, that someone is um, feeding into it. They're, you know... Um, making us feel loved, wanted, and needed. Um, there is communication happening. 
Now also starting off, I feel that there is some plans that may have been made, but it ends abruptly. If or if you were undecided, I feel like you had some sort of plans about the future, like you were feeling fired up, you were determined, you're like, yeah, I'm going in this direction, and then something comes to a screeching halt, something just stops. The plans that you were making stops. Uh, either plans that you were making to move away because I see something that's happening at a distance as well or at least you were planning something from a distance I don't know if you had some sort of long distance relationship and maybe it's the distance that comes to an end and now someone's close There could have been two people that you were dealing with and one of them you, you ended it with. There's two things that you're passionate about. I feel like this, this optimism, this choice that you were making, like, I feel like, I just feel like you're being liberated. It's like, although I'm seeing death, I don't feel like it's a sad ending. It could be. But I just feel like it, it just ends abruptly. Someone else had some sort of abrupt ending. Can't remember if that was Aries, Taurus. But I don't know if that's related. But yeah, there's something that ends abruptly. But I feel more so it has to do with some sort of plans. Now, too, someone may have crushed your little ego. Um, some kind of way. I don't know if they they crushed your ideas. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe to come to me. Let me stop looking at that. But um, also, I'm feeling like once something comes to an end, you're going to have some sort of stability or something. Some of you could be dealing with uh, a Capricorn, Aquarius, or a Scorpio, or Leo. Um, either you're deciding to hold on to something or to keep something to yourself. You're like, I'm keeping this part to myself or I'm holding on to this. Some of you might be holding on to something that's not going anywhere as well. So be mindful of that. Like you're holding on to something that's a dead end. Or someone might that, I don't know, someone that has no future with you might be trying to hold on to what you all had. Um, so it could go either way. There's also this sense of detachment or turning down an offer or being emotionally detached. I think we had that last time. Um, it's like starting off this new journey, but it's like alone, like I'm stepping out on faith or um, choosing to do something um, your own way, turning down, I feel like you're turning something down and you're being stubborn about something that you want your way, you want to have it your way, and you're not budging, you're like, nope, um, and I feel like someone is trying to get your attention but you're blowing them off. You're like, no, thank you. I'm moving on. So especially for those of you that might have gone through a breakup, I'm kind of feeling like you're feeling yourself. Like you're like you feel like you don't need that person anymore. You don't need whatever it is they're offering. You're just like you could keep it and you're just moving forward. You're just being completely detached. Um, you're ready to take some sort of new adventure, a new journey. Um, 
and you're distancing yourself. You, it's like you like your freedom, your space. If you're in a relationship, whatever plans you had with your partner, you're choosing to do it by yourself. You don't want to do it together. You just want to do it on your own. You're like, I just need this time to myself. Um, so I just kind of feel like you're blowing people off or blowing someone off. And you're just not ready to open up either. Like some of you are still holding on to some sort of uh, heartache or breakup. I mean, not um, breakup. Um, something emotional that you're still holding on to and you're not ready to open up. Someone's asking you to express yourself, but you're like, I don't want to. I, I'm not ready to. And you're trying to figure out or you feel like you can do better. So like for some of you, if you had like an ex and you're getting over them, uh, and let's just say the ex does come back or wants to work things out, I kind of feel like you're now you're like, no, I, I feel like I could do better. And you're waiting on a better offer to come along. Um, for some of you, you may get involved with someone who is a free spirit. Someone may just suddenly fall into your life or you might suddenly fall in love with someone or someone might out of the blue just fall for you. But it's kind of still like this blockage here and holding back and being withdrawn, being isolated, being a hermit. There is some sort of, um, I don't know, being standoffish. Oh, great. We were doing good, Libras. Okay, so the following week, it looks like, um, I don't know, if you're getting overwhelmed with your own thoughts, there is some sort of anxiety or pressure being put on you. Um, if you're in a relationship and you want to get out of it, some of you, I feel like you're going to feel stuck or trapped in it feel like you want to do the right thing. Um, I feel like you're just overwhelmed with, you, I don't know, the person you're involved with. Maybe you're not feeling, maybe it feels like something's missing or you're feeling like you're not getting what you want out of this relationship. Um, but you're feeling like you're stuck or you can't move or uh, you're suppressing your thoughts, you're feeling disabled or like handicapped or something, just like you can't let go or you can't move. For like for whatever reason, something happens and you get into your own head and start feeling like you can't decide or you don't know what you want to do now. For like you let your doubts set in or you let someone talk you into something that you don't really want to do. Also, this could be you trying to trap down, like if you're in a relationship and this person has expressed that they want to let go, or they want to move on, they want to leave, but you somehow manipulate them into staying and they're staying and they're not going anywhere, but they don't want to be in that relationship. They're like, I don't want this, uh, but they're not really saying anything. They're trying to do the right thing and they're just like, stuck now for some of you I, I just picked up it's not you that this is happening to this is somebody coming to you telling you that they feel like they're stuck someone is coming to you and telling you that they feel like they can't move forward in their relationship someone is like I don't know it's like you're 
you're a mediator for this person and you're just being uh, an ear for this person. You're just listening to their complaints or their problems. And, you know, you're trying to help give them some sort of direction, help them make some sort of decision. With justice here, this is you um, being in your element. Uh, being that person that weighs the pros and the cons, that person that tries to be fair. It's also that person that's undecided. So at some point, you might have a hard time ending something. And I'm saying ending only because it's on top of death. Some of you might, might be procrastinating uh, on some divorce or signing divorce papers or disconnecting completely from a written contract, something that, I don't know if it's an apartment lease, maybe you're holding on to that, or you think just because you're, you guys still share something in the same name that you're obligated to, to follow through with it, but you're not. You're like, but you feel guilty about it or something like, oh, yeah, for some of you, I feel like you're feeling like you, you're you locked into some sort of contract or deal or promise and you're bound, you feel like you're bound by your word. On a spiritual note, or those of you that are into um, spell work or witchcraft, either you are trying to bind someone by your words using some sort of binding spell where you're wrapping something around and you're trying to bind someone to you. Um, I'm going to tell you it's, it's a bad idea. It looks bad. doesn't look like it's going to work. Um, if that's not you that's trying to do some sort of binding spell, someone might be doing this to you or trying to. If someone is trying to bind you through spell work, it's not working. It's not going to work. Um... All it is is giving you anxiety. Uh, so let's say there's someone out there and they're trying to keep you around and they don't want you to go anywhere and they're doing some sort of spell work. All they're do If you're the spell caster watching this, all you're doing to this Libra is giving them anxiety. But it's not making them stay with you. Um... And I just felt like I needed to say that. And that, again, could go either way. If you are Libra doing spell work, trying to keep somebody, all you're doing is causing them anxiety. It's not making them come back to you. Um, there's going to be some sort of hostility between you and an ex Or there's going to be a separation if you're in a relationship caused by petty arguments, jealousy. I feel like there is someone that is jealous of you or jealous of your relationship. Someone is uh, like an instigator. Someone is causing conflict. Um, and someone is smirking about it there. They think it's funny. Uh, this could also be you. I don't know if you are causing someone to split up or also this could be you receiving news about a breakup or split and you're just kind of like, that's what you get. Like you're finding out bad news about your ex and you're like, I don't feel sorry for them because they hurt me. Um, but also, I'm feeling like those of you in a relationship, you're having some sort of <sighs> commitment issues. And now both of you guys are doing a, it's pettiness between the two of you. You guys are arguing and I mean, you're just having like these disputes and it's causing a disturbance um, in a relationship. And again, this could be caused by a jealous outsider um, or someone is trying to, like I said, with the whole spell work is someone is trying to cause some sort of uh, dismay in your relationship or whatever. Uh, 
that bad energy could be caused from an outsider who is jealous of your uh, relationship. Um, some of you know that a breakup is on the way, but you don't want to deal with it. For some of you, there could be a third party, a Libra that comes in between your relationship. Um, but I feel like there is this, this anxiety and a stress about, um, an upcoming breakup like you know you know the relationship is about to come to an end or you know you're about to be separated from this person and it could be that you going or moving away causes this separation like the third entity is this job or something or you know the third entity is is the space between you two because you know now you're separating um, something else I was going to say, um, there is some sort of guilt too concerning a possible Capricorn, uh, either a Capricorn is feeling guilty about something that happened in the past or you feel guilty about something you did to a Capricorn in the past. Those of you that are single, um, your feelings are going to get hurt about something that was said. Some, someone does something to hurt your feelings. Um, like an, in more, most likely from an ex. Um, try to distance themselves. Or someone is purposely... They are, they love you or they're in love with you, but they're showing it very immaturely. They're like, I like to use that example, like kids, when the boy would go up to the girl and punch her and then it's like, well, yeah, because he likes you, you know? So if someone is like hurting your feelings because they like you, um, also there's the possibility of some sort of revenge taking place, like someone... Like either you hurting someone's purpose, um, hurting someone's feelings on purpose because, because you've been hurt or vice versa. Um, but yeah, it looks like that following week in May, like gets kind of nasty for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, Libras, stay prayed up, do that, keep meditating, um, and try to look at things uh, from a positive point of view. Like I said, on the bright side, the only thing it looks like is that all that nasty energy is people coming to you with their problems. So that is also a possibility. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Remember, this has been a general um, reading. For private readings, email me to matt76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Just click on the link. Um, to contact me for any information. So enjoy your weekend and many blessings to you.